the moving to opportunity experiment, which gave low-income families housing vouchers to move to low poverty areas using a randomized lottery. So this is starting to move in the direction that I want to go next, which is focusing on potential policy solutions and mechanisms. So in this particular case, people had thought for some time that neighborhood environments might matter. And so motivated by that, the US federal government spends about $25 billion a year on housing vouchers to try to let low-income people live in better areas or at least better housing units. And the moving to opportunity experiment uh, sought to test what the causal effects of those vouchers were. So this experiment involved about 5,000 families in five big cities in the US and was conducted in the mid-1990s. To give you a concrete sense of what this experiment did, let's focus on the case of New York. And so in New York, people were randomly assigned to either the control group, and a lot of those people lived in a very big housing project called the Martin Luther King Towers, which was in Harlem, and still in Harlem. And uh, the, uh, the people who randomly won one of these subsidized vouchers to move uh, to a lower poverty area who were in the experimental group, many of them moved to an area called Wakefield in the North Bronx, which is about 10 miles away from Harlem. So the point I'm making here is that these are very local moves, uh, very short distances. And essentially what we're going to do in, in this analysis is compare the outcomes of kids who happen to have the chance to grow up in the Bronx instead of the Martin Luther King Towers in Harlem. So what you find when you look at the data uh, is children who moved to lower poverty areas like the Bronx when they were young, in particular below age 13, do much better as adults. They're earning 30% more. So that uh, corresponds to roughly a $100,000 gain in lifetime earnings in present value at the point that they moved. They're 27% more likely to attend college they're 30% less likely to become single parents. So across a broad spectrum of outcomes, you see these quite significant improvements that would translate to significant increases in rates of upward mobility for children who moved to better areas when they were young. In contrast, if you look at children who moved at older ages, which is what the prior literature ha that had studied this experiment had done, you end up finding that it had relatively little effect on kids who moved as teenagers, and it had no effect on adults.